So we have the customer feedback page of this website. We can rate this website on a scale from 1 to 5, 5 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. However, suppose I hate this website so much, I don't want to even give it a 1 star. I want to give it a 0 star, but the lowest I can go is a 1 star. So in this video we are going to learn how to do this. And we can do this with improper input validation. This is the 0 star CTF challenge of OS juice shop. Improper input validation means that the website will accept our request without properly checking the request. So first let's see how this feedback page works. I can see since I'm not logged in, the author is anonymous. I can submit a comment. I'll type I really really hate this website. Since the lowest I can go is a 1 star, I'll keep 1 star selected and type 14 here. So 4 here plus 10 which is 14 and click on submit. So we submitted the feedback but nothing happened. Now let's try to again submit this request but this time intercept the request with our verb suite so that we can modify the request. So I'll turn on my verb proxy, turn the intercept on and again type the comment. I really really hate this website. Keep monster selected and submit the captcha which is 6 and click on submit and I can see we intercepted the request. So in the request if I scroll down I can see we have the captcha id, the captcha we submitted, our comment and the rating which is a 1 star we selected. Now since I want to submit a feedback of 0 star if I type 0 here and forward this request, I can see we solved the challenge. So this is how improper input validation work. The website was not supposed to take a 0 star, but we submitted a 0 star. So we are going to be going over the challenges of OSP Juice Shop. If you want to see more of this content, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.